So I'm in Chesterfield today to show you the current status of the town centre. And what I found is it was a 1940s market day, so it's absolutely buzzing today in Chesterfield. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the surrounds of Chesterfield, around the outskirts of the town centre, which is pretty dead. But then when we eventually get into the actual market area, it's absolutely packed with people today, which is very unusual. It is usually busier on a Thursday with it being the main market day. But if you can actually like the video, follow my channel and click on notifications for new videos and I'll take you on a tour around the town centre, starting from the outskirts. I thought this was the best place to start to show Chesterfield town centre. It's going to be a bit noisy here because of the work going on behind me. But this is the future of the waterside development. It's about £300 million, I think, going into this investment. But the actual canal basin bit where the boats will be is very small. But this is the future, folks. It's bleak. And just over here is your old court building. You wanted some money spending on it, but I think the building could have been repurposed. But I don't think anybody would object to knocking down old buildings if they built decent stuff back. But when that's the replacement, I don't think uh, that's the future anybody's looking forward to. See Chesterfield College over there. Let's hope as I walk up here it'll become a bit quieter. So just here where there's a car park now was station hotel another building that could have been repurposed when they talk about net zero but they knock down perfectly ad adequate buildings that could be repurposed for the future but I think the idea is to remove our past because if you don't know what your past is you don't know where you're going I thought I'd just show you the bus station. Oh, sorry, not bus station, the actual train station. To me, it's a very poor train station. Not knocking Chesterfield folk, but works up a small town of about 40,000. It's got a beautiful station. And this is a modernised station, it's not like all very good. That's the future folks. Here you can see the crooked spire in front of you and we'll walk now across the ring road. Now where I'm walking across this bridge was a great central railway and that was one of the biggest mistakes ever made and I don't think it was a mistake, I think it was done on purpose to sabotage. Beeching gets all the blame for Ernest Marples with the, was the Tory transport minister who had a road haulage business and also a road making business. So it was all about the contracts back then. And you've got to ask, 300 million going into Canal Base and knocking down these buildings that could have been repurposed. It would be a lot cheaper to have repurposed these buildings. But I think what happens is they get public money to do a lot of this work. And that's why it happens. So you've got the station hotel just here. And there's actually three railways, run, three railways running through the middle of Chesterfield in this area. And there's nothing about your heritage, it's just been basically removed. But this is happening around every town centre. You're not alone in this.
So somewhere down there originally was the Great Central Railway from Marylebone in London. If it was such a big issue with money at the time, That's so noisy, it could have been mothballed for the future, but same again, they sold it on to all the mates, probably. So we've got the pomegranate theatre, it had been renovated. Now, there are some beautiful old buildings around Chesterfield. I did do a video a while ago, but I had that many follows when I did the video about knocking the old courthouse down. I thought I ought to come back to Chesterfield and do the latest. Now, it was, this wasn't been upgraded the last time I come. I think it's something like £10 million going on this. I think some of this is levelling up funds. I think some of it's coming from your council taxes. But what they've done in Chesterfield, like they've done everywhere else, they build these out of town centres. But what that does, it actually creates more traffic journeys. Because, like, originally we all drove into our town centres. I drove into Sheffield, parked my car, and that was it. You could, do, you could shop for everything in one place. Now, you go to one out of town, then another out of town. So, when they talk about net zero and reducing pollution, they actually increase it. So this must have been part of the old station. This is how the station hotel looked before they knocked it down, just behind it. Much better architecture than the building now. Very much more close up of spire there but what I'm going to do is before I show you the town centre I'm just going to show you the donut roundabout another view of pomegranate theatre what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk across the road and give you a view back down there So this is what looks like something to do with the old Great Central train station. It's a beautiful building. I mean, why can't we build like this anymore? I wouldn't mind them knocking the old buildings down if they built like this or even better. I think they could improve on these old 19th century buildings. Now you had an airs here and that's gone, which I'm shocked because we've got an airs in works up that's thriving. Say so again, works up's only a small town of 40,000. Got the winding wheel theatre here. We've got some beautiful old buildings around Chesterfield. But it's absolutely dead now. It's Thursday. There's a great market on a Thursday. The flea market. Is it a flea market or whatever? And by HSBC in Marketplace, you can, every Thursday and every Saturday, 11 a.m. until 1 p.m., Chris and Alan are there with a table outside HSBC. that are awake people. If you're against the destruction of your town centres, pop in and see Alan and Chris for a chat. Now Chris was the ex-mayor of Chesterfield, he's very awake, very aware and he didn't sell his soul for the money. Oh, 
Well, you've got a few beautiful old buildings in Chesterfield. I mean, there's another one there, a church over there. Now we've got, this is a donut roundabout, I'm told. There's a car park behind it. Now, this Northern Gateway, you're not supposed to be part of the Sheffield City region, but I think they gave you five million pounds for it. So be very careful about the Sheffield City region. You're not supposed to be part of it, but they're funding you. So why are they funding you if you're not part of it? We'll get back into the town centre and get into the market area. Just wanted to show you the pub on the corner. You can see how it's over there, shut down. It's the Blue Bell pub there. So if anything, Thursday is actually probably the busiest day in Chesterfield due to it being the larger market. Well, I'll give you a flip back down this other side of the street when I get to the top end. But I'm sure it's bringing memories back to Chesterfield folk. We have to fight for our town centres, otherwise all they're going to do is go stick flats in them and coffee shops, that's all you'll have in them. bank building there originally called Deacons can anybody tell us anything more about that building but well, I'm just going to skirt around the edge before I take you into the central market area this has got some lovely old buildings on this edge but you find other than the market area which everybody's probably heading towards there's really not a lot in Chesterfield anymore Even the Marks and Spencers has moved out, and that's quite incredible. It's on an out-of-town shopping centre again. But I understand they'd probably be turning these places into flats or something like that. Now, I've looked on an older video, and one of these was a dance hall in one of these old, what, the Tudor or whatever. But I don't know how old these are. You'll see very few shops in them now. You could be making so much more about your medieval past in Chesterfield.
just going to nip back up here. This is an interesting building up here to show you. So let's just... Uh, But we built like they build this gateway place around here, and couldn't they view some of these existing buildings? So we've got the Central Methodist Church, but that don't look like a Methodist Church to me. I don't know if it's because it was in a town centre, it's a bit more regal or whatever, but that looks like it's been well here before they claim it's been here, whether it's a repurposed building. And then you've got the awful looking car park, and then you've got that gateway building. So we'll just get back into the town centre. So this is supposed to be a Premier Inn. I don't know how much of it's the Premier Inn, but it looks dead. But I'm sure some of these empty buildings could have been repurposed for the gateway. It's Chesterfield. Still got a cooperative bank. So, I don't really know what that is, but it looks like a little Vic Victoria Royal Norfolk Street. Oh, it's a Utah. I've seen what it is now. So you can see it's the Utah Unitarian Chapel. And my understanding is, they don't believe Jesus was the Son of God. I believe that Jesus existed, but it was just like you and me, which is what my belief is, at the most. Well, these bu buildings are absolutely beautiful. But I think a lot of the older buildings around Chesterfield were probably knocked down back in the 50s and 60s. This is probably all you've got left. It's far better than what Sheffield's got, my own city. I think we're just going down to the town hall just down here. It's a bit busier than normal in Chesterfield today, but it's going to be 19C today. So it's probably brought people out. So let's just get a bit further down here and I'll restart the video. You've still got absolute loads of banks though, and building societies in Chesterfield. So Nationwide and Lloyd's there as well, I've seen absolutely loads. There's also still lots of pubs. So we've got the Garden of Fragrance opened in 1993. You've got the old 
town hall building here and I'm looking behind it right up there. The bike does that they look like offices for a town hall as well. If I'm right. But this is the building that looks the nicest. That behind it, 60s building. But why do we need all these people working in our councils? Well they are all busybodies. They charge us money and don't give us any value for that money. Well, it's a busybody on every part of our lives. Rather than making safe roads for us to drive on, clearly marked roads, they confuse us with road signs and try and catch us out for doing 32 mile an hour in a 30 zone. It's absolutely ridiculous. So you've got quite a bit of greenery still left in your town centre. But expect more flats being built in your town centre, expect more coffee shops. That's unless you fight back against the agenda. All they want you to do is order online at home. And while you're not using shops, they'll keep shutting them down. So let's get back into the heart of Chesterfield, the market area. I've just seen a bit of a symbol on the building which I'm just going to zoom in on. Because I can't see it very well on the screen now. It's not very good my screen when it's uh, like this. Probably can see that symbol symbol somewhere on there. So these buildings look so much nicer than the out of town shopping centres, that's your liffy spirit. I feel drained when I go in the out of town centres. It's extremely busy, I've never known it this busy before, so something's going on today. There's a Chesterfield Visitor Centre here. And I think there was talk about it closing down. So you can see the, I don't know if this is Spitfire or a Hurricane, I'll find out in a moment. So we're right outside Crooked Spy, I think everybody knows about that. I wonder if that builder got sacked, but he brought fame to Chesterfield. But well, this was a not a real Spitfire, it's a replica, authentic. It's an authentic replica Spitfire. I thought it was really strange in Chesterfield today, it being so packed. I'll just have a walk around this corner here. I'm told that there's also a hurricane here as well. 
There's the visitor centre for Chesterfield. There's lovely old buildings dotted all around. Chesterfield. I keep being told how it's online shopping and everything that's destroying our town centres, but having gone to Leeds and Manchester, Nottingham. They've got thriving town centres on a Saturday at least. Well, that looks like a new set of apartment flats up here they've been working on since lockdown, and that's more of that will be coming to town centres if we're not careful. The idea of town centres was not what they're wanting to use them for now. It was, it was a hub for us all, not for these middle class people and students who want to sit outside coffee bars. So I've still got a good jewellers there. I've never seen it this packed in two years of coming to Chesterfield, like in the last two years of coming to Chesterfield, sorry. We've got an old Burton's here, and the lovely Burton's, the actual architecture on them. Now it's Greg's, just the house ones it up, don't it? But I've come today to show you how dilapidated our town centres are and it's actually thriving. So it shows you don't have to do a lot to draw people into the town centre. See a couple of old vehicles. Well, the market's absolutely thriving today. And this is how I used to remember Saturday afternoons in Chesterfield when I came before the lockdown. Old fashioned fire engine. So this is HSBC in Marketplace and just outside Primer you'll find the Freedom Assembly somewhere around here. It's a bit busy today but there's a Freedom Assembly every Thursday, every Saturday, 11am to 1pm. You'll find them with the signs, it, it's not usually this full in Chesterfield.
Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like I don't like filming when it's packed like this. This is the uh, town hall. So we'll have a walk down to the bottom. Oh, so this looks like the other plane. Whether that's an Oricon, so I can get a better view on it. I'm guessing it's a Oricon. Yeah, that's the Oricon experience, so. So much more classy than what people are driving around in nowadays, aren't they? We get some front end views of them in a moment. As you can see, the market is absolutely packed, and I bet everybody's decided to open all the stores up today as well. Well, this is how I always remember our town centres. Day to showcase Chesterfield, but then it's also showing how the town centre should look. Now, as 
a bit disappointing for all those people working that why didn't they do this on a Saturday when all the working people can get along. So we've got a few indoor shopping centres at this bottom end. I sort of keep away from indoor shopping centres. It's all beautiful, the house. So there's two market areas in Chesterfield. This is the biggest portion up here. But it's absolutely packed. You see the town hall or market hall, whatever you call it. Mark, might be market, sorry, market hall. But I'm told that they're making a lot of flats in the shops around here above. And these people are now objecting to having a market in the middle of Chesterfield. So that's the pavement shopping arcade in there. <coughs> it's a bit hard to showcase Chesterfield when there's so many people. Certainly a video for the future. Show people what town centres once looked like, they'll never believe me. So we've got Chesterfield Library up here. We've got so many beautiful buildings in Chesterfield and then you get the bleak stuff from the 1960s. That's probably going to be the best view of the market all there. 20 minutes. <laughs> So, Chesterfield's an historic market town, you can see that they're not playing on the brand enough, are they? Because they've not had to put a lot in Chesterfield to liven it up. There's only a few military planes and a few old vehicles and a few entertainment acts and it's absolutely buzzing. So we had a Wilco in Chesterfield, like everywhere else, they've shut down but I'm told there's one back in Rotherham but it's at the Parkgate shopping centre, not in the town centre which is sort of shame. What I'm going to do in the moment is I call it a day in the town centre, I just want to give you an idea but it's a bad day today to actually show you what's been happening to our town centres because today it's absolutely chock a block with people, how it should be. So that's it, I call it a day with the town centre tour of Chesterfield. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can follow my page or follow my channel, like my video, 
click on notifications to get new videos in the future. Goodbye for now.